Hello, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2015 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. With me today is my special guest, Michael Reese, Vice President of SEEK. How you doing today, Mike? Good, Craig. Thanks very much. You know, SEEK is new to many of the attendees of this, of this forum, so how, was, how are you introducing yourself to this, uh, this very broad audience? Well, SEEK is a software company, and our founders have many years of expertise and experience in the software and process industry segments. And so what we've done is brought together process industry expertise, big data expertise, and mission crit critical software expertise together in a single offering, which we find is necessary if we're going to help our customers accelerate their analytics on industrial process data. I hear you say industrial process data. Further elaborate on what does industrial process mean to data mean to you in Seek? Sure. Industrial process data means the sum of the data types and the data sets that you need for state-of-the-art analytics in the process industry. So it starts, of course, with the time series data or the sensor telemetry that you have, but then we build on that with additional information and context, for example, from your AMS system, quality data from a LIM system, product or batch information from an MES, uh, possibly ERP data. And so industrial process data is the sum of the types of data that you need to make a really informed decision uh, to, to improve your business outcomes. You know, um, you're bringing data in from multiple disparate sources. Um, now, is that taking what some people call a data lake approach? And if you, and if you want to explain what a data lake is to some of our uh, some of the people watching this video that may not be familiar with that term. Okay, sure. Data lake is a term uh, for bringing all of your data from its original sources and putting it in one place and then using that entire base uh, to index and, and, and enable discovery. It's not what Seek is doing. Seek is not taking a data lake approach. Seek leaves the data where it is, in the historians or in the databases or in the other systems. But what we do is we connect to those with, with connectors or with drivers, uh, and then we enable contextualization across those data sets. And what this enables is that frontline engineer or process engineer or analyst to be able to work with the data where it is very quickly as opposed to going through the whole process of disconnecting it, moving it someplace else and so forth. Now, uh, as, as, as a relatively young company, you've had some, obviously some customer engagements. What mm -hmm. some of the response have been? The response has been very, very good. And we've had uh, two things happen. One, we've already got deployments on site with customers. We're also working with some of the industrial process vendors and industrial automation vendors uh, with them on engagements. And so we've had good success both with customers and with the channel. Uh, and what we found is that we're exceeding expectations. We're getting insights faster than we thought we would be able to or that they expected. And we've seen this across a number of different industries. Uh, we're working with customers doing remote automation or remote analytics uh, efforts. Uh, we've seen this in cases where we're improving production yields on, on processes. And we've seen this on specific asset management scenarios or asset optimization scenarios where they're wondering about their asset performance in the context of what they're making or which plant it's running in or which shift is operating and so forth. So we've seen this across industries and across scenarios. Uh, we're very excited about next steps. You know, um, a common term in the industry is actionable intelligence. So you can walk through this forum and uh, go yes. through the showcase room. A lot of the time people talk about actionable intelligence. How do you differentiate uh, actionable intelligence right. to seek? Well, actionable intelligence is the goal. The question is, how do you get there? And, and Seek takes a, a couple different approaches. First of all, we think about it in minutes and hours. Like, how quick can you get to actionable intelligence? And we really want to get that measured in minutes. Uh, the second difference is the focus point of the user. We are focused on the front-end process engineer analyst who knows the assets, the systems, the processes that are going on, and therefore has that expertise that they can apply against the question that they're trying to answer. The, the third thing that we think is different about the SEEK approach is we're using our innovations specifically for time series data, for specifically for the telemetry that they're working with. And then finally, we don't just think about how quickly uh, the, the moment to joy or the time to joy from a user perspective, we also think about time to install. How quickly can we get something set up for you that then you could quickly use to find those insights? So those four differences are why SEEK's a little different approach uh, to the end goal uh, of actionable intelligence. Well, uh, what are you, sh are you showing any of these products uh, here at the, at the forum? Or what are you demonstrating? Are you, are you shipping some of these products? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, we do have uh, software in production at customer sites, and we've done that through a, uh, a platform or an infrastructure and services type engagement. And then here at the show, we're also showing 
uh, Seek Preview. And Seek Preview is, as it sounds, a preview of the user experience, the dynamic, interactive, uh, rapid uh, inspection of data uh, experience that we are going to have for those frontline process engineers. Okay, and as a, as a last question, let's look at uh, past, present, and future. Sure. So from the past, uh, you know, give us a summary of uh, some of your initiatives in 2014. For today, what are some of your initiatives in 2015? And as, you, as your vision, 2016 and beyond, how do you, how do you see your, your going forward with your journey? So in 2014, it was about building out the set of uh, infrastructure services that we could use with our service uh, team to deploy on-site with customers and learn from those experiences and prove out our, 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 the principles that we were working under. Uh, 2015 is about building out the user experience so that a process engineer could come in and take advantage of those ser uh, services very quickly on their desktop. In 2016, you know, we look forward a year from now to being able to, to, to have that install I mentioned, like the download and go. I can download this software, install this software, connect it to uh, my historian or other data sources, and begin seeking insights literally within minutes. And that's, so that's last year, this year, and next year. Well, that's great. You have an exciting journey. It should be great. Thanks, Greg. Thank you very much, Michael. And uh, we had a great discussion today with uh, Michael Reese, Vice President of SEEK. This is Craig Resnick from the 2015 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. Thanks so much and have a great day.